Hi, I'm Annie and it's time to join me on some of my obscure book adventures. First, I must say uh, I'm not in that great a shape. I feel a bit under the weather. Uh, but uh, so if you uh, see me uh, getting a little bit dizzy, it's because I am a little bit dizzy and uh, not because I am spaced out on some illegal substance. So I'll try to keep you entertained and not keel over. Oh, you are entertained when I keel over, are you? <laughs> Well, <laughs> okay, I'll try not to keel over anyway, <laughs> but I promise you, I will keep you entertained. So it is October. So this means it is Occult Detective October. Occult Detective October is the brainchild of MJ over at Reading This Life. I will link her channel uh, in the description box below. And uh, together with all of the other co-hosts who uh, are joined in hosting this fun reading event. So what is a Occult Detective? Well, it's a detective story. Uh, which features an investigator who investigates something of the occult. So uh, some ghosts, some magic is in the stories. So that's basically what an occult detective is. So uh, a while ago I saw a video of uh, Roy uh, over at Roy Reads Anything and he was uh, conducting a bookshelf tour of his occult detectives and uh, he talked about one of his books a collection of short stories of detectives written by women female detectives written by women and he talked of the occult uh, detective Solange Fontaine. She is French, so I'm pronouncing it in French. Anyway, uh, she has premonitions, uh, so she's some sort of a medium. Uh, and she acts on these special senses uh, to uh, investigate uh, things and to prevent crimes or to solve crimes. So uh, as th this is uh, one of the first uh, detectives, occult detectives with a female investigator and that was written by uh, a woman, uh, I think Fryn Tennyson uh, Jesse. So I think the stories are written in the late 1910s, maybe early 1920s. I know of one story that was published in 1918. So the stories originate from that time. But a few, or at least I know one story uh, survived there is a book with uh, more uh, short stories of Solange Fontaine uh, in it, but it's really hard to get. I can't find it anywhere. I can't find, I can only find uh, one short story and that was published in M M Ms. <laughs> Murder. A collection of short stories. Did I mention that before? Well, anyway, Roy was talking about it. Um, you must uh, excuse me as I don't feel all that well. So uh, anyway, I read The Lovers of Saint and The Lovers of Saint-Lee. 
And it's a story uh, about a family who lives in a castle. And the Solange finds this family very interesting. So they, uh, she visits them with her intimate friend, Raymond. How intimate this friend is, is unknown. Uh, but they solve, as I understand it, they solve crimes together. Uh, as it is a short story, I won't go into detail about how the story goes, but uh, the uh, lady of the castle is uh, becoming ill and uh, there is something mysterious uh, going on. Suspicious, anyway. It's obvious uh, that this story um, is somewhere in the middle of the series of Solange Fontaine uh, stories. So there's not much character development going on, but it's a short story and the plot is highly entertaining and uh, very well written. So it's a pity I can't find any more short stories of Tennyson uh, Jesse. So, I highly recommend The Lover of Saint Lee. I'll leave a link uh, to the free library copy uh, of Ms. Murder uh, in the description box below, so you can read it for free. I have found the introduction uh, of the complete adventures of Solange Fontaine and it is well worth to read that as well. I leave a link to that as well in the description box below so you can learn more about this unusual and highly entertaining detective. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.